morning, I'm Carla. Ask me, ask me how I'm doing. How are you doing, Francois? I'm doing tweet. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. How many followers do you have on Twitter now? You don't want to say just yet. Um. Well, this is the official announcement this okay. morning. Oh, so yes. you didn't say it last week, did no, you? No, we didn't. We said we were gonna do it. Yes. And uh, it was done, but Yay! but uh, nothing nothing was announced. So this morning, Carla has uh, taken me from faceless to uh, Facebook. That's right. Uh, she has taken me from uh, muted to tweeting. Tweeting. And so I am tweeting and it's um... Francois Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Francois on fame. That's, that's it. That's it. So if they want to follow you that's on Twitter. That's my name on Twitter. That's your handle on Twitter, yes. They gotta spell it right though, or if they spell it wrong, will it suggest me? No. Meaning it'll take them to maybe somebody else whose name is spelled differently. No, but they wouldn't have on fame on theirs probably as well. Not. Probably not. So it's Francois on fame. F R A N C O I S mm -hmm. on fame. One word. One word. That's right. your handle, Francois on fame. I'm so happy for you. Follow Welcome me on Twitter if you Twitter. have nothing to do. <laughs> Or if you have lots to do and you want to hear what Francois has to say, I must admit, I've been following you all week. My phone wasn't working, so I need to hook up at my Your Uber. Your phone Twitter. wasn't working? No, my BlackBerry wasn't working. How can it not work? Very briefly. I thought that the battery was dead. I would charge yeah. it, it wouldn't hold a charge. No problem. I put the battery in the freezer and it started to hold a charge. That's an old time trick. That doesn't work with the new batteries. It still works, it works. Okay, so it's holding a little bit of charge now. But then, uh, the it was still dying no problem change the battery get a new battery phone still dying so i had to wipe my phone and reinstall so what are you telling everybody what was the cause i believe that the cause was some third party software that i might have added at some point in time that, that drains was, your battery that was draining the battery so i'm not sure which you know i find i'm charging every day is do i have third party uh i've seen your phone you have tons of third party applications on oh, your phone <laughs> okay and, and that but so these applications are working when i'm not using yeah, them could be running in the background and you don't realize it they could be accessing data to keep it up to date when you go to the application you don't realize it's Im it's important for you to close an application not just so maybe i should up. shut off the phone or as i turn it back on it's gonna all start no, doing it no, again if you don't activate the program because I did that several times turn off the phone and then didn't start up anything uh, but still it didn't didn't, didn't, didn't work, work. Me, so maybe I had a little problem but all right back. okay <laughs> I am back both figuratively in the sense of the back blackberry and I'm back from New York I traveled to New York on the weekend for, oh, okay. and I have to put in the shameless plug for good times uh, New York so I gather so it was I a blast it was a blast all with right. our very own fame DJ Kurt Riley Kurt the animal Riley yes. that was the place I'm always from Saturday but while I was there I was there from Friday I had to work so it was important for me to move my office with me to New York and to be able to stay productive while I was moving around uh, move your office yes. you, how you gonna move I, your office I moved my office you I mean just have your computer with you? My laptop, of course, is an important part of my office. But yeah. what if I needed to print a document? What if I needed to be able to, to send a fax or you something? You would have to go into one of those staple stores. I or what? what's the other one? There's a name that does the copying. Office Depot? No, we see the name all the time on... Kinko's. Kinko's, Kinko's. yeah. Kinko's. And you know, we, we have similar companies here. I I don't want to do that. I want to be able to sit in my hotel room or be at oh. a party and be able to print away. So <laughs> fortunately for me, I have a mobile printer. Now the difference between portability and mobility is, is it's good question what is the difference <laughs> portability is something that you can carry around it's easy to carry but it's not necessarily what you'd call mobile because it's still tethered or it's not really meant to move around it's just uh -huh. easy to move mobile act, mobile applications mobile devices are meant to be moving around at all times and they can stand alone and work so here is my printer my printer is about the size of what about the width of two cds um uh, that is, that's a printer that it's that you're printer. showing us yes only the people on the tv gonna so be able have to, to see describe it, it for them. Oops, but uh let's see if i can describe that that uh, that looks like um uh, what size would that it's be smaller than a laptop i'll tell you that it's Maybe smaller than a printer. laptop it looks like about a thick book yes uh, that's what that's it, it looks, looks like, it looks a, like thick a thick book, book. Mm -hmm. 
and this is my printer. And with oh, okay. this, I can print in color or black and white. I can really? print documents. I can print transparencies. I can print slides. And so that like. can fit in your handbag if you're one of these ladies who have the it, big bags. It does. It's not a small bag, no. but the big, the big the fashionable big bag. bags. It will fit right in there. It will and fit right in there. And my particular printer, I have infrared. I don't know who still uses infrared. But of course, I also have the option to make it a Wi-Fi printer, so I don't even need a cable to beam do my you, work. Do you need to plug it in the wall or...? This one needs yeah. to plug in the wall. I have an adapter for it, but if I could spend $50 more, I could get a battery pack that fits right here, mm -hmm. and then it becomes completely portable. So you, you want people to invest in a portable printer? If it is that you're going to move around a lot, if it is that but you are safe... But I am surprised you say that because you are a techie type and paper is useless in this world. Paper is not useless. In that you, you, anything you wanted to transmit, you can send it to people electronically. And even if you wanted to read notes, people read them right from their phones. This is true. And lots of times, lots of times you can find paperless options. But the reality of the mm. situation is we're not in the world yet where paper is useless. I mean, True. we still write our information on paper. You're looking at a piece of paper right now. Uh, I am. That's to get the information of the songs Besides, that's going to be followed. Sometimes paper is important. And one of the things that I found, even though they are paperless substitutes, when I'm signing a, a third-party credit card authorization form or I'm giving something to... to less tech savvy people mm, yeah. uh -huh. Ooh, that's rude uh -oh. that's rude <laughs> paper paper still works paper still works and of course another thing that you have to do a lot is scan paper documents to bring them into a digital form and lots mm -hmm. of these printers are actually multifunction printers that can also scan but that costs more money all right so when it is that you're looking for your portable printer here are some things i want you to look at it has to be lightweight mine is 4.5 pounds yeah. There are lighter ones available. It has to be able to be easy to carry. It's got to have a good resolution so it can print pictures as well. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be able to print quickly. Now, printing quickly in the mobile printer world is maybe 12, 14 pages a minute, which is deathly slow. But when you consider that, you might be... But you're not printing a book. That's you right. know, you, you, you want to, uh, you two, three, four, documents. five... Uh, you, if you were at a meeting, maybe you needed 10, mm -hmm. you know, and if it does that in one minute, come on, you a minute. You can live with that. You can live with that. Yeah. No problem. Uh, when you're looking for a mobile printer, uh, Canon is the leader in yeah. mobile printers. HP, of course, is still very good. I'm an HP girl, even though I'm currently using Canon. a Canon printer. And um, uh, Lexmar, Brother, they all make as well, but the, the two leaders, of course, would be Canon and HP. Mobile printer. Mobile what else do printer. we need to be uh, mobile? You, you need about $300 US <laughs> <laughs> to get a really good one. There are some as little 300. as... $300? Yeah, there are some as little as uh, 150 but naturally the resolution is going to be not as good. It's going to be slower. Uh -huh. There are some as expensive as 450 500 but with $300 you can get yourself. And this substitutes at home as my regular printer. And... But again, quality is is the issue. That don't, that won't do pictures, right? That's just yes, do, it doing. Does pictures. I mean, it will do pictures, but it won't do pictures. No, it will do pictures. Yeah. It will do pictures well with the right paper. Oh, so paper is now an issue here. Paper is now an issue. You want to have photo paper. You want to have high quality paper, not just you know some cheap white paper. That that's for the pictures, though. You're talking yes, about for the not pictures, not for, for just for regular documents. Did you know that that every day when I come in and I write up my notes, I write it. I type it and then print it on this printer. This is this this is all right, but this is uh, not black, black, black. <sighs> Boy, you're a hard man to satisfy. I, but I'm I'm just we gotta we gotta check everything and make sure I'm done. Got ten minutes? Get technified with Tech Time on Tuesdays in Trivial Pursuit with Francois and me, Carlette, on the Blazing 95 FM.